Hello everyone, this is Army Tricks from Extraterrestrial Gaming and today I'm going to be showing you how to record your phone screen. So, I have my HTC Desire C and I've done all my app spotlights by recording my screen. And how to do that is quite simple. First, take your Android phone and then enable USB debug debugging in the settings area. Now that's all you need to do on your phone. Okay, now what you need to do is go on the internet and download Android SDK. You can get it from this website, which I'll put in the description. And you'll need to save it somewhere and also install it. Then, go on to the Droid at Screen website. I'll leave this link in the description and download the latest version of Droid at Screen. Once you've done that, you're almost ready to start. So I've saved my Android SDK here, and you can see that. Just go into Platform Tools, and just be sure that this ADB is there, okay? Just be sure that's there. If that's there, then you're fine and ready to start. Don't open it or anything. Now what you'll need to do is you'll need to get HTC Sync Manager or something like that. So you need to download your phone's manufacturer's driver software, so I have HTC Sync Manager and you have to turn it on and keep it running. Now what you need to do is launch Droid at Screen and it starts up automatically for me because my phone's USB connected to the computer, which is what you have to do. You can't do it via Wi-Fi. Now for most of you, what you'll get is this. At startup, you'll get this. Now, what you'll need to do is go to your, um, go to find where your adb.exe is located, and okay, sorry about that, little problem. Okay. Now, as I was saying, what you guys will see first is this. Now, connect, find where your adb.exe is, and just hit OK, and then it should come up with your phone. And that's mine, serial number, and state, it's visible, and then it'll come up with this. And this is your phone. Now what you can do with it is you can use these controls to flip, change its orientation. You can actually flip it upside down, you can change the magnification. I just leave it at 100 because if you do it like that it just gets really blurry and stuff like that. And a bit glitchy, so personally just leave it at 100. You can also check your camera, well not your check camera, you can take a screenshot and with that you can record you can record loads of screenshots so basically you can like record it and patch it together to so that's how you do that. But it's better if you just use a recording software like Fraps to record it instead. It's much easier and you don't have to patch all the photos together. Okay, and that's it. That's how you use Droid at screen and record your phone screen. And just to prove that it does work, and that's not just a picture, I'll just move my phone. But go, it's not the smoothest, because it's not like rooting your phone, but it works, and it works well. Okay. And it also works when your phone's on sleep. Okay, thank you very much for watching and look out for more tutorials by Armitrix from Extraterrestrial Gaming. See ya!